my love here I stand before you I am yours now from this moment on take my hand only you can stop me shaking we'll share forever this I promise you and when I look in your eyes all of my life is before me and I Give you my love completely My darling This I promise you My love I can feel your heart beat As we dance now Closer than before Don't let go Don't let go Cause I could almost cry now We'll share forever Tasha asked that I begin with a prayer right here with her parents. And so let's go to our place of understanding of God as we pray. Dear God, we thank you. Thank you for this glorious day and for Tasha and Gail and for their open hearts and their willing spirits and this love that they share so freely with each other and with all of us today. We wish them many, many blessings and please watch over them and care for them not only today but through their lifetime together as a married couple. And please inspire each one of us, their witnesses, that we too can be touched by what's experienced here today so that our understanding and our depth of love can also be expanded. We give thanks for Gail's parents, Jim and Margaret, for bringing her into this world and raising her to be such a fine, wonderful woman. And also to take a moment now to those who cannot be with us, and those who are here in spirit with us. Tasha's mom, Viva, and her father, George. We do know that their great spirit, their great love, and their joy for Tasha and Gail are here today. But we know that in spirit and love, we can never be separated. 
And so for this day, for this love that these two share, and for all the love that has come today through all of you, and for your love, God, your never-ending love, we say thank you, thank you, and amen. Here we are. Can you believe it? Can you bring me down just a little bit? Thank you so much. Well, what a beautiful, beautiful entrance. I'm Reverend Diane Walker. Please help. Be comfortable. I want you to feel like this is your way. <laughs> and do remember that we perspires to cool us off. So welcome the perspiration and enjoy the cool breeze. And I got a good spark here. I got a little bit of shade. Anyway, I'm, Di I'm Reverend Diane Walker. It's absolutely my ple pleasure, my privilege to stand here today. It is always an honor to be with two people who love each other as much as these two do and respect and care for one another. Yeah. Well, we're good. We're good. <laughs> On behalf of Tasha and Gail and their families, I want to welcome each and every one of you. It is so important to them that you're here and they thank you with all their hearts that you came to share this really special day with them and to celebrate with them, not only today, but through their lives together. Tasha and Gail, on this one of the most important days of your lives, you stand within the connection of your love, surrounded by your family and some of your dearest friends and in the presence of God. You've already demonstrated in your living and loving with each other how much you care and respect one another. And you have chosen this ceremony as a way to publicly declare and enact your union, to share what you're already experiencing with each other, with everyone here. And these are people that you care a great deal about. And friends and family, we're gathered here today to witness and to celebrate the joining together of Tasha and Gail in marriage, to be with them, and rejoice with them as they deepen their commitment into this wonderful new adventure as a married couple. It also gives us an opportunity to be a very real uh, part of their decision to marry, which makes it more important for them, more powerful, and also for all of us who are witnessing today. And I always like to add in, this is a wonderful time for each and every one of us to contemplate our own relationships and to nurture and deepen them with what is shared here today. And to be reminded, never close your heart down, no matter how many times it gets broken. You never know what you'd be missing. Look what we have before us today. A wedding is such a wonderful occasion with hopes, dreams, and excitement. Feelings come alive at a wedding, did you notice? <laughs> <laughs> Everything gets ramped up, doesn't it? Everybody had that one day. That's right. <laughs> There's an acute awareness that something special Something that goes to the very heart of life is about to happen. Something today will be gone forever, but no worries. Something is born, brand new and tender. Something to be nurtured and cared for, protected and cherished, challenged and strengthened, which I know you've already done many years of. <laughs> today we celebrate one of life's greatest moments, the joining of two hearts and to give recognition to the work and the beauty of love love, such a mysterious, powerful, moving expression. It is truly a gift, a miracle, when two people even find each other, much less find the one that they want to spend their lives with. It is a miracle, and it is a gift to be treasured and handled with great care and attention as you go through your life together. And at this time, I'd like to invite Tasha's niece, Jessie, up to share something that she's written about this love of these two. so special in so many ways and my love for them is forever. 
Today, we are here to witness their forever love. I was absolutely honored that they asked me to speak today. I was honored because I am proud to talk about how special they are to me. But when I started thinking about it, I wanted to know what they find special about each other. So I asked them. <coughs> it's funny because they pretty much said the same thing about each other. They both talked about humor and about how they laugh and have fun together. They both talked about how much family means to them. Aunt Tati said that she loves that Gail always puts family first. And Gail said that Aunt Tati does the same and was so happy that Amber grew up with two parents that were always there for her and that Amber never went without love. But the thing I think is the most wonderful is that they both said that they are each other's best friends. They have been together for 28 years and not only do they still love each other, but they are still best friends. That's hard to find. Yes. It is such a blessing to find love and to be loved in return. And I know with all of my heart that we are here to witness that love. I want you both to know that I love you for all that you are, all that you have been, and all that is yet to come. I am so very, very proud to call you my family. Oh, <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, I hope all of you can hear that. <laughs> I love you. 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 Wonderful. Well, you all don't need me. Oh, you just had her do this. <laughs> that was absolutely beautiful. You asked the right person. Yeah. So today, today you create a magical and unforgettable celebration of this love that you share and so many have been blessed with by knowing you. And today also you renew your wonder and your appreciation for each other to reaffirm your purpose and your intent with one another and bring forth images that you'll carry into your marriage together. The basis of this commitment you make today is of love, of course, but it is also a commitment of respect, loyalty, freedom, open-hearted communication, and expression. And so today you take your love and your commitment into a brand new experience, <coughs> marriage. Marriage is the beginning of a new life, a chance at fulfilling long-held dreams and an opportunity for great personal and spiritual growth. And Tasha and Gail, you realize that in a greater sense, no other person or official you can truly marry you. And if anybody knows that, the two of you do, because you were not allowed to marry until just recently, legally. But in your heart, you married a long time ago. So only you can marry yourself by your commitment to love each other, to work with all of your hearts toward creating an atmosphere of care and respect, and by your willingness to face together the uncertainties that life will surely bring. So your love for one another and your willingness to accept each other's strengths and frailties with understanding and consideration will cement the foundation of a life together that will last. Well, it's only quite why am I even saying that? You already have done that. <laughs> but you know how wonderful you get to start anew today. Yeah. Always a chance to start anew. So I too like to spend time getting to know a couple and finding out what's special about the two of them. Of course, we have a lot of logistics to go over, which we did. But I really enjoy getting to know people and to find out what's special about them, which Jesse already addressed quite thoroughly. But I did find out that you met each other <coughs> 29 years ago at work. And Gail actually trained Tasha to be her boss. How lovely for a relationship for someone to be the boss of you, but you've trained them how to do it. <laughs> yeah, I thought, that, I thought of that on the way here. <laughs> and Gail's daughter was, um, Amber was only three months old. And there Gail was single with a baby and didn't know how she was going to make things work out. And Tasha's single and wanting to be married and to have a family, and their paths happened to cross at a very good time for both of them. They just enjoyed each other and had fun together. I always like to ask, what is it that you love about the other, and why do you want to get married? But this is what Gail had to say about Tasha. She's always optimistic. She sees the positive in everything. We make a good team. Actually, no, we make an excellent team. They both worked really hard, and Tasha stepped right in and helped raise Amber as if she was her own. And now she has a daughter and two wonderful grandsons, Deacon and Jackson. And she makes me laugh, feel secure, and at peace. And why does she want to marry Tasha? She said, we've already had a commitment ceremony in our living room the first year we were together. And we've already felt married in our hearts. And what did Tasha have to say about Gail? 
Well, she didn't hesitate to say what her what she loved about you. She's a Wildcats fan. <laughs> and she loves to go fishing with me as long as I take the fish off the hook. And I asked why do you want to marry? And she said, so many take it for granted that they can marry freely. And we both thought it would never happen. And here we are. Never give up. Never give up on love. And so, now it's time to exchange your vows. And I know whatever promises you make here today, you mean with all of your heart to keep with one another here at the beginning of your lives as a married couple. Did you put one of my wine? I did. All oh, right. Oh, no. <laughs> when it's good, it's not it's <laughs> <like hating people. laughs> And they have chosen to write their own vows, and they're surprising each other today. So we're all hearing it for the first time <laughs> yeah. as well. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Looking into your eyes today, I still see you as a girl I fell in love with years ago. Every obstacle we have, we have overcome every obstacle, and it's made us even stronger. We have always been an awesome team <laughs> and I'll have to skip that part even though I had to take all the fish off the hook yeah. <laughs> no, you took, you took my line so, today I promise you that every day I will continue to be by your side and keep you safe warm and love you faithfully forever beautiful keep these in a precious place and bring them out often and share them with each other I'll read back. <laughs> this is a wedding, and we're going to okay. give you all the time okay, I'll read back. <laughs> Tasha, never did I ever think we would be standing here in our lifetime. Though our marriage will be finally legal, I have been married to you in my heart for all these years. So today, instead of making a lot of promises that I've already lived by, I'm going to take this moment to thank you. Thank you for taking a young girl and her baby and making us a family. <laughs> Thank you for taking that little baby and raising her as your own. You have loved Amber from day one. Thank you for always working so hard to make sure not only did we have the things we needed, but the things we wanted. Thank you for helping me to create our home. Thank you for always being optimistic when I'm pessimistic. Thank you for always being there through all the laughter, tears, and the ups and downs. Thank you for always putting up with me, even when you say I make you crazy. <laughs> Thank you for lifting me up and making me feel proud and being my biggest fan. Thank you for always encouraging me and pushing me out of my comfort zone. Thank you for always believing in me, even when I didn't believe in myself. I've always been down on myself, but you never made me feel nothing less than beautiful every day of my life. You always look at me the way you are today. I want to thank you for being my best friend. After 30 years, you're still the one I want to share everything with. Thank you for showing me what true love is. So today I thank you, and I will promise to try every day of the rest of my life to be your best friend and to give you all you have given me. And it's wonderful that you stay here. I get to go home. I love you forever, always faithfully. And <laughs> I don't know if you heard that last line, but she said, as wonderful as today is, the best part is I get to go home with you today. Yes, hallelujah. And so, those are beautiful. <laughs> and now it's time to exchange your rings. Can you open that box for me, sir? Good job, sweetie. From the earliest of times, the circle has been a symbol of completeness and a symbol of committed love. An unbroken and never ending circle symbolizes a love that is also never ending. But as often as you look at these symbols that you'll be wearing on your hands, will you be reminded today? Of these vows and these promises and this beautiful love as you go into your lives together. And as you take Gail's hand in your hand, please repeat after me. I, Tasha, I, Tasha, give you this ring, give you this ring, as a promise, as a promise, and a pledge, and a pledge of my love, of my love. I give you my heart, I give you my heart. I have no greater gift I to give. No greater gift. Beautiful.
and now. And they sent me these ring bows as well. They really participated <laughs> in this ceremony. And you look into your love's eyes. I, Gail, will give you this ring. I, Gail, will give you this ring. As, as a, a promise. As a promise. May my heart be your shelter. May my heart be your shelter. And may my arms be your home. May my arms be your home. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. All the days of my life. I also want to say that I was here yesterday for the rehearsal and of course again today and what a beautiful family friend um, creation this has been. Everybody played their part and I want to acknowledge you all the little nuances that you added even the different way of coming in today that you really wanted to honor everybody that was here. Thank you for that and for bringing that to this day. So before I pronounce you as married partners I have just one more thing I want to do. Your wedding day is one that seems to fly by, doesn't it? We've waited so long and then boosh. <laughs> it's a day filled with emotion and friends and rings and dances and good food. But many people remember how fleeting their own wedding day was. It's almost like a flash. So I want you now to take a few seconds to just look into each other's eyes and think about the happiness you're feeling in this place, in this moment right now. Really let that feeling register in your heart, in your being, in your mind. And let's all join in with them together and feel that joy of seeing two people find each other who love each other so much. And now I want you to think about your life together in 20 years. Where are you? What are you doing? Just see what flashes in. <laughs> Go ahead, say it. Go ahead, say it. I got it. You got me. She said pushing me around the wheelchair. That could be part of it. I don't think so. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe Maybe it is. Years. <laughs> but isn't that wonderful to know? No matter what, you'll be there for each other. We all know that your visions of the future are not always identical, but they'll always be complementary. John Lennon once said, a dream you dream alone is only a dream. But a dream you dream together, that is reality. And that reality starts now. So may God unite your hearts in the never-ending bond of pure love. May your family bring you happiness, and may your generous love for them be returned many times over. May peace live always in your hearts and in your home. May you have true friends to stand by you both in joy and in sorrow. And may God bless you with many, many happy, happy years together. And I want to go fishing with you. <laughs> and I take the fish off the boat. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, girl. <laughs> I really do feel like I've um, um, inherited a couple of nice friends down here in Mount Washington. I, I'm blessed every day. So before this gathering of family and friends, Tasha and Gail have made their wedding vows and exchanged their rings as a symbol of their lifelong commitment to one another. And because they share a deep and abiding love, and have made these promises to one another in full self-expression, I am absolutely delighted to declare them married today, legally and forever. Would you like to share a kiss? <laughs> and the wedding party are going to have a few photographs taken and so they'd like to invite you to the front porch if you would go around the side to the front porch and enjoy some fresh things to drink and they'll be joining you shortly and so have a wonderful time this evening so yeah. 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 friends and family join together in love and through the spirit and commitment of marriage i present to you tasha and Gail Russell. Congratulations.
look into your eyes It's like watching the night sky Or a beautiful sunrise Well, there's so much they hold And just like them old stars I see that you've come so far To be right where you are How old is your soul? Well, I won't give up on us Even if the skies get rough I'm giving you all Love, I'm still looking up And when you're needing your space To do some navigating I'll be here patiently waiting To see what you find stars they burn some even fall to the earth we got a lot to learn god knows we're worth it no i won't give up i don't want to be someone who walks away so easily I'm here to stay and make the difference that I can make Our differences, they do a lot to teach us How to use the tools and gifts we got here yeah, We got a lot at stake And in the end you're still my friend At least we did intend for us to work We didn't break, we didn't burn We had to learn how to bend without the world Caving in, I had to learn what I got and what I'm not and who I am. I won't give up all oh, us, even if the skies get rough. I'm giving you all my love. I'm still looking up, still looking up. The skies get rough I'm giving you all my love I'm still looking up